Hi Houghton, how are you? I hope this video finds you doing very well. We're in the middle of a really nice stretch of weather, so I hope that you're getting outside and moving. So this video today is all about striking. And I'm gonna ask you right now, kiddos, what is a strike? Think about it. I'll wait, but not too long. A strike is a hit with control. A strike is a hit with control. And today, I'm gonna to give you a mission. And your mission is to strike something a certain number of times with different implements. Now, when I use that word implement, that's a very fancy phys ed teacher term. It just means an object. In PE, or in sports activities, we have different kinds of implements. We have short-handled implements, and we have long-handled implements. An example of a short-handed implement would be a ping-pong paddle. Another example would be a tennis racket. An example of a long-handled implement would be a hockey stick or a baseball bat or a golf club. These are all things that you can use to strike something, which is to hit something with control. Now, it would really help for this particular activity if you had a balloon like this. But you might not have a balloon just hanging out at the house. And that's okay. I'm gonna give you another option. So if you go into your drawers at home in the kitchen, you may have one of these. A one gallon plastic bag. Now, if you don't have the gallon variety, you can use the smaller kind, which would be like the sandwich bag variety. You may have those instead. And there's also the snack bag variety. That would be really small, but I think you could do it with that successfully as well. So I'm going to use this to create a balloon-like object that I'm gonna to use to strike. So what you do, okay, right now my bag is completely open, but I am going to zip it up, okay? You can kind of hear it closing. I'm gonna zip it up until I get almost to the end. I am going to leave just a little bit open. Now the rest of it is sealed, but right here is open. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my mouth right on it and I'm gonna blow air from my lungs right into the bag. Maybe. And now, once I get as much air in there as I can, I zip it closed the rest of the way. Mm, I'm losing air. I don't think my, my seal is tight. Oh, nope, it's not. See, it's open. So I'm just gonna have to keep trying. Let me try again. Make sure most of it is sealed, except for that last little bit. The tricky part is sealing it while you still have all that air in there. Mom and Dad can help you. Okay. Hey, here we go. Not too bad. Okay, so once you have your object to strike, to hit with control, I am going to give you a bit of a mission. And the mission is this. If you are in kindergarten or first grade, I want you to try to hit this object, either your balloon or your homemade balloon, 10 times in a row before it hits the ground. Now, is it okay if it hits the ground if you don't get to 10 in a row? Of course it is. Just keep trying. My second graders, I want you to try to hit it 20 times in a row. My third graders, 30 times in a row. And you guessed it, you see the pattern. Fourth grade, 40 times in a row. 
Now the first implement that we're going to use is going to be, well, our hand, okay? Our palm, our fingers, to keep it up in the air. Our second implement could be, or will be, our foot. All you soccer players think you're gonna love this one. It's like dribbling with your feet. Except you're trying to keep the object up in the air. Your next part of the mission, boys and girls, is to, once you've hit it that many times with your hand and with your foot, I want you to try to find some objects around the house that you can use as implements. Let me give you an idea of what I have that I'm going to use in this video. A tennis racket, a great example of a short-handed implement. A cardboard inner tube. This went with some landscaping tarp that I was using, so we decided to save it. It's nice and stiff. Pool noodle, a little bit softer. Wiffle bat, okay. And my favorite, a lightsaber. Let's see, ready, watch this. Oh, it's a Darth Vader lightsaber lightsaber. So I'm going to use these items. Once I use my hands and my feet to keep the bag up in the air, once I use it to strike that bag, I'm then going to switch and try it with some different items. Okay, so this is your mission, boys and girls. Create a balloon. If you have a balloon, use the balloon or create one out of a bag and then use your hand to keep it up in the air as many times as possible, depending on your grade level. Use your foot as many times as you can in the air, and then find some pieces of equipment that you may have in the garage or in the house that you can use to strike, hit your object with control.
Girls, you can try this, but hold on one second and let me, um, let me just say goodbye. Okay, that was fun. That was so much fun, keeping this bag up in the air. Now, my question to you is this. Now, I know you might not have all of the same stuff that I had, other than your hand and your foot, but was there one item that was easier than the rest? Was there one item you used, one implement you used to strike the bag that was harder? So for me, the hardest by far was my foot. I felt like my hand-foot coordination, uh, getting that to work for me, was just the hardest part. I probably, I have to go back and look at the video, but I think I was only able to kick it maybe three, four, five times in a row at the most. The tennis racket, that was, I think, the easiest, right? You've got this big amount of surface area, this big, um, and I'm not sure how many inches across that is, but that's a pretty big surface area that I was using to hit the bag. Pretty forgiving. Oh, Jill, can I throw that in the air for you? You know what else was kind of tricky for me? Mo, can I see that lightsaber for a second? It was actually the lightsaber because if you notice, it starts kind of thick and then it tapers down so it's a little thin. That made it a lot harder, right? Which kind of makes sense. So this is so big, right? Very forgiving. And then you have this, which is a lot thinner and much harder to use to hit. Okay? All right, you enjoy it, boys and girls, and I will see you next time.